Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome to another Minecraft snapshot. These are getting me quite excited as it would seem that updates are back in full swing yet again, or at least for now. And that's pretty cool. So a few new changes that I thought I'd go over, new additions, so on and so forth. Starting off with the big one, which is the addition of ocelots. Or you could just call them cats because they do turn into regular old house cat looking things after you tame them. So I've got the ocelot egg spawner here and I'm gonna try to get it tamed so the way it works is if you run into one in the wild or you spawn it with an egg it runs away from you at first and then you gotta be very very careful and ah right click it with a raw fish in your hand and then it transforms into one of either three or four different breeds of cats this one looks to be a Siamese I'm gonna I'm gonna take a wild guess there I may be wrong but that's that's sort of the bell that's ringing in my head right there. Although it's funny when you think of cats versus dogs, it's like you see any any breed of cat and it's just like, oh, that's a cat. Whereas when you think of dogs, you always, or at least for me, I tend to associate it with the breed. I don't know why that is. Anyway, let's try to spawn another. And oh, be very careful. Come on, come back, come back, come back to me. Don't run away. And then the problem is, once you go and get close again, he's going to keep running away. Ugh. I need to show them breeding. Be cooperative. Come on. There you go. There you go. No. Come on. See, the problem is, you, you can't right-click them with the fish unless they are in... Uh, well, you're, come closer. I can't... Uh, okay. No. Be kind, be kind, no, don't run away from me. Oh, this is so difficult. I'm gonna spawn a couple more. Come on, come back, come back. I have food, I have food. Why was the first one so cooperative? Are you gonna fall into the canyon? Don't fall into the canyon. Are you in, are you in tameable mode? No! Oh, poor guy, he, he died. Oh man, that was too bad. Okay, we gotta get this. I gotta show him breeding. Gotta show breeding. We gotta get into an area where there's not all this tall grass around. <sighs> there we go. Okay. See, the problem is that if you move too quickly when they're in the tameable mode, they will also run away again. So now that they're both tamed, I can right click you again. You'll get all, all lovable and you'll get all lovable and then you'll do things not appropriate for YouTube and uh. You're, you're sitting on top of your, your young there. There we go. We get a little little mini cat. Yeah. With a regular sized head and a tiny body. And he or she can hide in the tall grass. And that is ocelots in a nutshell. So that's the big addition in this update. But that's not all. So let's go over another thing. There are new jungle tree saplings. And I don't think... I don't think I not noticed until now that I think that the jungle tree texture is basically just like the regular wood texture flipped on its side with a little bit of green added to it. But anyway, so jungle tree saplings, right click on it with a bone meal and out pops a jungle tree. But you can do something pretty cool with them if you put four of them down in a two by two arrangement and click it and click it a lot. Click all of them. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we have to be on jungle biome. Hold on. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe there has to be more room around. That's probably it. Too close to like another tree. Let's try this again. <laughs> okay. So if we put down the four jungle tree saplings and click. There we go. Did we just lose a cat? Okay, I thought for a second we lost a cat in that process. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess over there it was just, I don't know, too close to something. Uh, no idea. But anyway, that arrangement will create a very, very, very large tree with vines already on it and everything. That's cool. Another addition is a new potion called the Bottle O Enchanting, or Bottle of Enchanting. And what happens is if you throw it down in creative mode, it just spawns some, uh, some XP orbs. So if you throw down a bunch of them, you will actually level up. You just can't see the XP bar in creative, although it is there. It keeps track of it. So if you put down an enchanting table and you 
put some bookshelves around it and you threw in a bow or sword or whatever, you would be able to enchant it up to a pretty high level after throwing down a whole bunch of these things. So that's new as well. Another addition is that skeletons have been made smarter. Oh boy. So Jens actually said on Twitter it was either him or the the new developer who's working on it as well. His name is John, I think. And that they are going what? Uh, you just you just appeared out of nowhere. That was kind of scary. It's a good thing you are neutral. Anyway, um, skeletons will try to avoid sunlight now. They are the next mob after zombies to have been made smarter. So let's put him down and see if he walks into a place where he won't be on fire. Any luck? Yeah, there you go. So immediately, here, let's put him out in the field here. Should mention that the, the kitties follow me around, so... And they'll teleport too. <laughs> so let's put you out here and see if you instantly run to the shade. And are you not on fire anymore? You're still there. You go. So yeah, skeletons have been made smarter, and they will run to a place where they will not be on fire if they are at a light level where they would otherwise be on fire. They will they will try to get out of it. So that is new as well. Another addition, well, dispenser textures have been changed. That's not really too big of a deal at all. But there's this new item called a fire charge, and you can place that in the dispenser, and then you can place, let's get a block to put our lever on. If you, if you activate the dispenser, it'll fire like a ghast <laughs> type charge, and then... We're going to catch the entire jungle on fire, and it's just, yep. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is too much fun. Pyromania. Now, finally, there's this additional structural thing that goes along the terrain generation that seems to appear occasionally in the desert. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find one, so instead I'll pop up an image right here so you can see it. It's sort of like a, a well made out of sandstone that appears in the middle of deserts and maybe it's a start to a new feature of structures, desert village or ruins. We can speculate all we'd like and yeah. So anyway, that's what's new in the snapshot. I'll link the download page in the description and that's gonna do it. So thanks for watching guys and myself and my new kitty friends. We'll see you all later.